Our top focus as of now, after the United Arab Emirates' top diplomat paid a visit to Damascus, Qatar's top diplomat has now voiced hope for a halt to normalization with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Speaking in a joint conference in Washington with Secretary of State Antony Blinken, the Qatari Foreign Minister Abdul Rahman Al Thani said, We hope that countries will be discouraged from taking further steps with the Syrian regime. Al Thani added that as long as the Syrian president does not take any serious step, changing the position is not a viable option. Al Thani, however, also said that other nations have the sovereign right to make their own decisions on Syria. We hope that uh, uh, countries will be discouraged from taking further steps with the Syrian regime in order not to uh, undermine uh, the misery of the Syrian people uh, who are uh, what they are and the, what they are living in right now. Uh, Qatar position will remain as it is. We don't see uh, any serious steps by Assad regimes showing his commitment uh, uh, to repair the damage that he made for his own country and for his own people. The statement comes after the UAE Foreign Minister Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan met Assad in Damascus on Tuesday. In a clear sign of momentum to restore relations, the visit took place amid growing conclusions that Assad has won after a brutal decade-long civil war that has left nearly half a million people dead. The UAE Foreign Minister is the most senior Emirati dignitary to visit Syria since the eruption of a civil war. Several Arab states have backed mainly Sunni Muslim insurgents against Assad, but now the UAE has been at the forefront of this effort by some Arab states to normalize, normalize ties with Damascus. Earlier this year, it called for Syria to be readmitted to the Arab League and it had also reopened its embassy in Damascus three years ago. Syria is backed by the Gulf state's regional rival, Iran. The visit also triggered U.S. denunciation. All this of efforts to normalize ties with a dictator. Washington opposes efforts to normalize ties with Assad or even rehabilitate him that is, until progress is made towards a political situation to the conflict. U.S. top diplomat Antony Blinken has also reiterated the U.S. concerns about rehabilitating Assad. On Syria, um, I tell you, we're concerned about the signals that um, some of these visits and engagements uh, uh, are sending. And I would simply urge all of our um, partners to uh, remember uh, the crimes that uh, the Assad regime has committed and indeed continues uh, to commit. Uh, we don't support uh, normalization. U.S. President Joe Biden's administration has focused on humanitarian relief in Syria rather than military solutions. It has vowed no normalization while continuing to press for a peace settlement. Moreover, the U.S. introduced a law last year called the Caesar Act, which sets up sanctions for anyone working with Assad to rebuild the country. The legislation came as part of an effort to encourage accountability over rights abuses. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.